What's up, my favorite people? Boots, Joe, Richard, what else we got here? Hi, everybody. Hey. What up, John? How's it going? Yeah, it's been a while. It has, definitely. Have to do a CD event sometime again. Yeah, I mean, hopefully next year I'll be able to get to that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the quick reply on that. Or I was panicking. I was like, I have no idea why. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> of course, of course. I'm always here to help. Hello, everybody else. Hey, hey, Susie joining us. We got Sean, the Invisible Man. There he goes. I can't hear you, bud. You mute it. Hold on. Oh, is he on the phone call? Or is he with us? Sorry about that. Transitioning out of one thing to another. <laughs> but it's all good. We got a couple more minutes for the rest of the track. Let's see in. Yeah, I think. I think Susie was just finishing up a call too. She'd be jumping on. I'm on. Oh, you're already on. <laughs> I heard you on the call. I didn't know you already got off. <laughs> no, I already got off. That was uh, an easy one. No, I'm talking about the rest of the Florida stragglers, man. Where's the rest of your team at there, Bucci, huh? <laughs> He's gonna say screw you. Oh, He's yelling on the floor. Get on the call. I sent out a reminder trying to make it easy for everybody <laughs> earlier today. I'm gonna be quiet here in a minute. Uh Franz is gonna be the lead on this. I'm just kinda here to back up and give some uh, assistance if needed. But we'll be doing the just a short intro. We'll be doing these tech talks uh, potentially once a month is what we're shooting for, guys. And this is going to be basically we're going to cover topics that you guys may or may not know of and things that you guys may or may need to be learned, taught about or even old topics, new topics, whatever it may be, new technologies. And we'll even be asking you guys for feedback on what topics you guys want to learn about and things of that nature because at the end of the day, you guys are the ones that know what you know and know what you don't know. So we'll figure it out and go from there. I will mute myself. Friends, it's all you, sir. You guys can hear me fine? All right, Stu Clot, so let's go ahead and kick this off. Thanks for coming to our uh, first tech talk here. Uh, the last one of 2023, but first of many to come. Uh, today's topic, we'll be going ahead and uh, covering our IC real-time AI by NVR. All right, so what is AI by NVR? So our new AI NVRs can utilize their large throughput, knowing that the, the new uh, 32 megapixel recorders uh, have like almost a gig of, of more than a gig of throughput and so forth. So that way they're able to use that type of throughput to uh, impart their uh, intelligence into those cameras. So what that means is those cameras without uh, AI, such as uh, edge cameras, uh, third party cameras, IC home devices uh, can now have uh, intelligence like uh, IVS and uh, face detect. And now, so which features are supported currently by our AI by NVRs? Uh, IVS and tripwire, including perimeter protection. We have intelligent motion detect with uh, object search as well. Uh, we have metadata, which means human vehicle uh, detection. You can get uh, the colors and so forth uh, of those uh, human or vehicle. And also face detection and uh, face recognition. And the NVR does have a built-in database that you can set up the face uh, recognition with. Bronze. Yes. So I, I just want to confirm, and I, I know I've been told this, but again, I just want to confirm. I know that these AI recorders will do human detection and vehicle detection. We yet do not have anything that would de detect animals, bears, wildlife, anything like that, correct? Correct. It's it's At the moment, it's human vehicle. Um those things such as bears and stuff would be would fall into the, neither of those categories. Um, there's not currently a need for uh, a other. So you can just set up regular IVS, but the problem with that is anything will trigger. Right. Uh, no, currently there's not any, anything in the pipeline. There's not a uh, uh, enough requests for picking out animals, and and also the understanding how complex it would be to pick up animals, whether it be four-legged or bipedal. So just understand right. that. Okay. Also, we're, we will have a QA and a um, after this presentation. I forgot to let you guys know. Okay. So Sorry if you guys got any questions, you can <laughs> hold off on that towards the end. All right? Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to go over is uh, which of our recorders currently support AI by NVR. So currently all of our uh, elite 32 megapixel recorders and you can tell that by the skew at the end of it will have the 32 MP and so forth like that. The older models uh, are 12 MP. So you'll see in the you know, EL64 to 12 MP. Those are different. Those don't have AI by NVR. So keep in mind that it's only currently the, the 32 uh, megapixel elite recorders and how you would know what kind of IVS and, and, and also their capabilities is going into their uh, web specs. Uh, so for example here, you'll see that under intelligence, um, 
it'll show the regular IBS and also advanced intelligent functions of AI by NVR. So it'll give a breakdown of on on each uh, recorder of uh, how much it can do, uh, how much intelligence, excuse me, it can do uh, AI by NVR versus AI by camera. So uh, as a quick example here, if I go to our web store, um, we'll pick one of the 32 megapixel recorders. Uh, and when we look down here under intelligence, you'll see that there's IBS, AI by recorder, and AI by camera. So it'll give the breakdown here. Understand that what it's showing on the specs is what it, what it can do, not all at the same time. So don't expect like to do, uh, for example, 32 channels AI by, or I'm sorry, 24 channels AI by recorder, and then add the face recognition on top of that because you're going to run out of, of throughput. So to understand that things uh other intelligence uh, will uh adding more intelligence will affect your throughput overall on your devices all right so let's go ahead and talk about the limitations of ai by nvr um nvrs with, with object search will have to disable this feature to use ai by nvr uh the reason being the uh, ai by nvr again uses throughput and so does uh, object search. So understand that some recorders that do have object search will have to turn it off. The, the elite recorders, um, the 32 channel and the 64, you can do object search and AI by NVR doesn't affect it, but on the 16 channel one, they'll have a toggle on there to, to turn it off. So be aware that you can have both AI by NVR and, and object search in like the 16 channel one. Another important thing to keep in mind is you can't use more than one AI by NVR feature per channel, uh, except for the only exception being face detect and face recognition, because those two have to work hand in hand. So face recognition needs face detect. So those two need to be enabled to get face recognition to work. Um, also, what I mean by this is you can't have uh perimeter protection and face detect on the same channel for example or intelligent motion detect and perimeter protection on the same channel uh for example even if it is ai by camera so just keep in mind just overall your, your expectations should be uh one type of ai future per channel not multiple per channel it's not how that works because again here enabling uh face detect and face recognition it uses a lot of NVR processing. Um, so if you turn that on, you might not have, again, the full uh, all channel uh, AI by NVR with uh, intelligent motion detect, for example. It, it might uh, cut the resources down so you can only have a few, if, if any, channels that will have um, AI by NVR with intelligent motion detect. Also, another thing is the AI future sets uh, can vary depending on the camera resolution. Um, so that, for example, I'm going to go ahead and show you right here on our AI recorder. This is the one in the lobby. Uh, we have a Dinger Pro attached to it on channel five. Uh, as you can see, in, if I go to the alert center here, uh, we can have AI by recorder on that. So channel five AI by recorder. So what, is, what, what, what does this mean? It's pretty cool because now you can tell your clients, for example, hey, uh, you can have face recognition on your Dinger Pro. And I think that's a cool feature. I mean, you can set up, you know, a, a database of who's going to be in the house. And from there, anybody that walks up there, they can get a, a notification saying exactly who it is and or if it's a stranger and so forth like that. So if I do an AI search on there for uh, face recognition and channel five, and again, this is a Dinger Pro. It has it doesn't obviously have face recognition by default if you do a search there then we can actually see that we have results on there based on the uh, database that we set up um they can play their recordings and so forth and, and again when you have ai by nvr you can kind of treat it like ai by camera in a sense of expectations of having uh push notifications for that uh ai uh you can have ic view uh search results as well and so forth so the other thing was the object search that's very new to you guys we do have a write-up on that uh on our help center i encourage you to 
look at it, but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration on object search. So in a summary, object search allows you to utilize the uh, features of our IMD 2.0 cameras. If, if you look at our website, um, we do have uh, IMD 2.0 cameras already on the source. So uh, I'll show you how to filter that. If you go to cameras and intelligence and check in IMD 2.0, you'll see the cameras here that we support with IMD 2.0. What makes IMD 2.0 um, very special compared to our old version is its compatibility with object search. So object search allows it so that when you do a, uh, a regular search on any, any camera, whether it has IMD 2.0 or not, if you do a search for, uh, if you do an object search for a person, uh, it'll show results for uh, all cameras that have IMD 2.0 that already saw that person. So this feature is only available in the local interface as well. So keep that in mind. Again, this is all, this is a showing a demo on the local interface of the unit because object search is only available in the local interface. When you go to the main menu and do a normal search, so go to data search and then playback, um, you can select any camera. Again, it doesn't have to be a camera that has IMD 2.0, but as long as you have at least one or more IMD 2.0 capable cameras, this will work. So for this example, we're selecting the doorbell, which doesn't have IMD 2.0. And then from there, um, you can do a search. And uh, as you notice, if I, when I walk around, it automatically will show uh, boxes on any objects that it, it identifies, basically. So any objects there, you can click object search, and you can utilize that, that object that it's already detected. So what you want to do is once you find an object that you want to search for, you can go ahead and click on the magnifying glass in the bottom here. Once you do that, it's going to pause the video and it's going to show different boxes. Again, the, the blue boxes already noticed me, but what you also are going to notice is the green box. It also will detect faces. So not only can you search for an object, but you can also search for a face that it has detected. So from there, you can select. Um, if you notice, there's also magnifying glasses below the boxes. You, if you click that, it'll do a search for that appropriate one. You can also, as demonstrated here, create your own uh, custom box around a, a person or an object that you want to search for. And then from there, you're going to click the magnifying glass, and it'll show you uh, results on all cameras that have IMD 2.0. So as you notice here, it shows channel 8 and channel uh, 1. Those are IMD 2.0 cameras. So even when I search a camera that didn't have it on the outside, it'll look for any camera that saw that that person or object um, within that within the results. So this just is, to this clarify, is, it wouldn't it'll search any camera that has IMD 2.0 already recording correct. for results. Although, like so, if you guys do, if you have a camera outside, it won't search that camera for results if it doesn't have IMD 2.0 supporting. Correct. I just want to yeah, clarify, and one other thing to clarify, sorry, Ron, just uh, real quick. Um, when you're doing object search, it is specifically humans or vehicle. You can't just search for a bush. You can't just search for a cat or anything like that. Humans or vehicle. Yeah, that's why you'll notice uh, a, good, a good example of that is why you'll see those certain boxes. There's those boxes that you see there. You can do an object search on those. So if you see any like blue boxes around that, if you, it, it means it's detected that as an object, as a, AKA a person or a vehicle, and then from there, you can do a search. Hey, Franz. Yep. Will that will that uh, same feature? Will that work as uh, and you said uh, as uh, Hadi was saying about uh, uh, vehicles or people? Will that detect uh, moving vehicles as well? If uh, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, obviously not plates. I'm not trying to get that. But if somebody's got a green car coming up, you know, back and forth across their building, it'll find that too. It will, but just understand that the usual IBS rules apply. If the vehicle is too fast for it to, to pick up, it might be too blurry and whatnot. So uh, it can, you know, if the vehicle's rolling slowly or going through a speed bump like that, we recommend those types of applications. So, all right. Great. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. So uh, the other examples here, uh, again, if I checked on the, the, the human box, um, it'll display those uh, results from IMD 2.0. Same thing as the human, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the face. If you click on the 
magnifying box on the green box, which will outline a person's face. It'll do a face search uh, instead and display, um, as you can see, all the results from, again, these are the IMD 2.0 cameras. So that's the cool thing about that. And uh, so that's object search in a nutshell. Um, and let's go ahead and finish this up. Uh, so again, as I showed you there, the uh, doorbell uh, is able to uh, actually produce face recognition results um, with that and face face detect. Uh, just understand if you're doing uh, any type of intelligence uh, like IVS and so forth, that if you select a camera like a two megapixel camera and expect good performance, it's not going to be as good performance, obviously, as a higher megapixel, like four or even eight megapixel. And that goes for the same as uh, face recognition and um, face detect and so forth. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's my presentation there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the floor to all you guys. That way I can go ahead and answer any questions and concerns you might have regarding this uh, new feature set that we have. Thank you, Franzi. Thank you, Hattie. You're welcome. Any questions? Is that on all the NBRs that that are EL series, or is that just, uh, or is that on all of our NBRs now? Uh, again, that's uh, covered in the presentation. We'll go ahead and make that live to you. But uh, to answer Joe's question, it's on the 32 megapixel elite recorders. Okay. So it's it's not in all all of it. Um, so currently, it's the new EL16 32 megapixel, EL32, and EL64 uh, 32 megapixels. Those have uh, AI by NVR as well as uh, object search with the newest firmware. And Franz, just to confirm, I know there's when you're running your AI through the NVR, mm -hmm. you're going to be limited just because of throughput or the usage usage of your throughput. So sure. let's say we're using eight channels of AI through the EL16. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to pull the remaining cameras AI through the camera, is that still going to affect the throughput of the NVR, even though it's you're actually pulling the AI from the camera or no? No, the, the AI from, from the camera, it, it offloads the intelligence to the camera. And at, the, at that point, the recorder is really just listening on uh, the cameras. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, so it doesn't really affect the, the, the throughput as, as it would as if it was AI by NVR. Okay. It will still affect it just a little bit because the camera still has to send snapshots and data over as yeah. the events are happening. So your throughput will fluctuate a bit. So always make sure you're leaving headroom on your, that's why we always say capacity. You don't want to max yeah, out. Yeah. And what shape. rule of thumb, what is that capacity? Honestly, I mean, if you've got a gig of throughput, you really only want to use up to what? My rule of thumb and always recommendation, just in general across the board, no matter what device it is, don't go above like 80% mark. Okay. Once you get over the 80% mark, you have no cushion. You have okay. no room you for room extra wiggle room play, people to connect. You need you want to leave about 10 to typically. Okay. Um, obviously, 20% is ideal. If you need to push it a little bit more, obviously, you can push it. It's just you got to be mindful of it. Gotcha. Thomas, question. The new guy here, right? If I can throw a question out there, you can hear me okay? Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Uh, awesome feature set. I think it's really neat. Uh, my question is, do we have any sort of competitive analysis like any other competitors that whether it be a Luma, a Digital Watchdog or somebody that are doing the same technology recording feature set? Um, as far as competitors, not, not at the moment. We don't have any of those. Okay. Info. So I know like Dawa has it. I, d I have to look into Hikvision and Digital Watchdog to see if they also have them. Um, but there are some competitors that do similar types of things or similar technologies. Um, AI by NVR has been around for a little bit. It's just, it was costly before. And now we've been able to reduce the cost of it. So we're now pushing it more. Um, we'll see a bigger splash on our lineup in comparison to our competitors. They won't be offering as many options as us. Uh, just for everybody's information as well, in the future, the next generation of our main recorders, our MX and FX 08s and 16s, those generations are going to be upgrading to also AI by NVR recorders. So our core lineup, our entire lineup, will eventually be AI by NVR. Um, and then just as the market trends happen, we'll see more and more competitors bringing that out as well. So right now, we might have a little bit of an edge, um, but over time, we will lose that edge. Hey, Howdy, real quick. Howdy, real quick. You said 08 and 16s too as well uh, with the new, uh, I'm assuming 24 coming back out. Would that be the same 
feature sets will have that in the 24 if we re-release that yeah the 24 if we manage to re-release that one then yes it would still also have the same feature set i just didn't count the 24 yet because uh we still have me you and um lewis to chat about the 20. okay sounds good hey howdy yeah. Do you have we heard anything more definite about the uh, FX twenty four when it when when it will return? Um, it's something I still have to discuss a little bit with uh, Lewis and Sean. I'll get back to you. I don't have a definite answer right this moment. To make Joe's question a little bit more relevant here, um, the FX and MX new generation will have uh, again to reiterate. Also, Hattie, we'll have AI by NVR feature set. Um, just obviously lower throughput than those, um, so they'll have a little bit different spec. Just don't expect they can do as much face recognition, for example, as the 64 channel. Thanks, Ron. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? And just for like a sales point of view, like what, what's an advantage or like how's the best way to really utilize this? Because at the end of the day, you guys are trying to sell it to your clients. I think one of the biggest advantages is, is that you can basically take any third-party camera. All I need is a video stream, right? All I need is an RTSP stream, and we can make that a support camera. Client has five-year-old cameras, whatever, it doesn't matter. We can turn that into a smart camera. That's one of the key selling points. Like you don't have to go and replace all your hardware. Look here, customer, I got a great deal for you. You just replaced the recorder and now you got a smart system. Take advantage yeah. of that. So I think that's one way of selling it for you guys on the front line. Yeah, it's a good retrofit. And again, like showing them futures, like um, again, this is making the most out of the cameras that that, that either we have or they already have. So even trying to tell your client, hey. You know what's awesome? Having face recognition on your doorbell, for example, mm -hmm. um, that's going to be really big for them. You know, mm -hmm. that type of stuff you only used to get with subscription, for example, with Nest, um, where you can say, oh, I want to tag this guy as, you know, but mom or dad or whatever. And then that, you get a notification, hey, mom came home or dad came home. You know, that's going to be a big deal. Also, in other places where malls, for example, that have uh, already a lot of cameras laid out and, and are concerned about, uh, people coming in that they banned from the malls, you can set up a, bl a blacklist or block list for those people. So that way, any of those cameras see those people, they can get an alert. Hey, this guy came over here, you know, so they'll be on a lookout for them. So very big uh, potential applications for this, utilizing those types of things that people already have certain cameras that they like to use, for example, um, like overlooking uh, a, a parking lot or something, something hard to get or whatever. Uh, you can say, hey, you know, do you want some, you know, intelligence with that? Do you want to be able to receive notifications when people, when people walk through? You know, those types of applications are really good selling points to your, your, your clients and saying, hey, what, what what cameras do you currently have and, and what kind of intelligence do you want on there? Instead of replacing the camera, replace the entire recorder. And also you can start selling them our cameras too that already have AI by camera so that way they don't have to offload the the resources you know what i mean so this is a good combination of using their their current uh cameras dumb uh cameras for example that don't have any ai feature set to to use but at the same time supplement with our cameras that already have ai by camera so that way they can have as much uh as possible hey just a quick question on um, because i can see because I, I again it's i'm also a newbie um with the facial recognition, I saw that it captured your picture, Franz, and so then it was able to recognize you every time afterward. Is it possible to, if the camera, if say, say it, it, the camera had never captured an image of you before, if I had a picture of you and I put that in front of the camera to kind of teach it? Yeah. It, yeah, you definitely could. So if I wasn't there and they'd already detected that person, for example, um, you can try to add that to the database, add that person's face to the database, and then do a search. And then from there, it'll use that to to try to search any current ones. Yeah, just because I, I can see a real life scenario when you see all these uh, domestic violence cases uh, and the ex-wife wants to know if the guy ever comes on the property, but he's never been on it yet. To be able to just take a photo of the ex-husband, yeah, teach the camera. Yeah, and then you can you can add anybody anytime to the face database, and then from there you can do a search, and then it'll use that search for on uh, that person's face. Okay, cool. 
On the other hand, that helps the uh, husband catch the wife cheating too. Hey, Franz, going back to your other question or comment about using the AI for the doorbell, they be able to see that on both phone apps or again, only I see home or how is that going to work? All right, so I see home does not have any of these feature sets um, mm -hmm. by itself natively. Uh, again, this is for cameras that are on the, the recorder. As you notice, the IC home device, the dinger was added to our mm -hmm. uh, NVR. Again, you can't add an NVR to our IC home devices. So logically, um, you'll just want to use our IC view at that point because IC view does have those uh, notifications for the intelligence that you're looking for. So, um, okay. you know, obviously, if you added that to the recorder, okay. you add your recorder to ICB plus and then put a subscription on it for face recognition that you can get from there uh, the notifications for you know who so and so coming to the doorbell one okay. will be trackable at some point like you can track a specific plate across multiple cameras obviously you'd have to have LPRs multiple LPRs but no this is this is okay. um, only for the described future sets uh, none of which right. unfortunately at this moment is AMPR yeah, it'll, it'll yeah, to be able to check though, like that particular vehicle. If you have, yeah. like, you know, vehicle recognition on, but uh, plates yeah. are a different story as far as the recognition of them. Guys, this is just, I just want to, it may sound redundant. I, I apologize, but this is all off the local database, correct? This is not available via mobile app or remote. And, and, and what do you mean by available mobile app or remote? Because you, you will get notifications and stuff. So, okay, that's what I'm saying. You'll get your notifications and then you can. The local database is, is on site, correct? I just want to make sure I'm not mistaken. The data, if you're talking about face recognition, yeah, the debate the database is on the recorder. So whatever you okay. add the recorder to, you'll have access to that. So for oh, example, awesome. That's, yeah, and, add the recorder to um the ICRSS uh I'm sorry, the I C now, for example, you if you do a search on there for that camera, you'll get uh the AI results for it, as well as notifications okay. as well. Is that on, that's on ICV Plus or no? It's just IC, IC Now? Uh, that's, ICV that's Plus just the name. As well, again, if you add the recorder to ICV Plus and you put mm -hmm. a face recognition notifications, you, you will receive it in ICV Plus. It's outstanding. It's across the board wherever you add the NVR to, because again, it's uh, AI by NVR. Thank you guys very much. You're welcome. Next question, John Eden. Yeah, I just, first of all, this is very helpful. I appreciate us taking the time to do this. Um, are we going to have access to like the layout or the video afterwards? Are you guys recording these as we go forward doing these to where it's a reference for us to go back to? That would be very helpful. Yeah, the, the slideshow will be available for you guys. And this is being recorded for uh, future use as well as all other tech talks in the future. Perfect. All right. This has been great. Thank you, buddy. You too. You're very welcome. Any other questions before we close out? I think that's about it. Thank you all for your time.